Hey guys, uh, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to use a BB brush. Um, what that is is a bore bristle. Br what that is is a bore bristle brush. Okay, I have five brushes here. Okay, have this one here. This one is very firm. Okay, I'm going to let you guys hear the sound of that. I have this one, which is a palm BB brush. It belongs to my husband. It's really old. And then I have one of my favorites, which is a very soft bore brush. This is my absolute favorite. This is um, also a soft brush. This brush here is a regular regular um, firmness but as you can see the teeth are really really short they're very short okay and listen to that okay this brush is not for me I tried this brush out and I found that it worked perfectly in terms of uh, cleaning the sebum the dust out of my hair it, it's a really good brush but I felt like it was too harsh on my strands. My strands are so thin, you can't even see them very well. If I were to, if, like if I had a shed here right now, I could just pull it and you wouldn't be able to really see it. It's thinner than a uh, thin thread. So this brush right here is a no-no for me. Um, my husband, however, he likes this brush. So if you have coarser hair, you might be able to get away with using a uh, bore bristle brush that's firm, okay? Because they do come in different um, textures, uh, the feel of it, it's different. And they come in long, short, spaced apart, compacted. So you need to figure out what kind of brush you need for your hair. This brush here, my favorite. Okay, this is my favorite brush. I'm in love with this freaking brush. And I can't believe I'm saying that because I can't believe that I'm actually using a brush of any kind on my hair, let alone this brush, okay? This brush is freaking awesome. Awesome. Um, <laughs> I picked it up from Sally's for seven sixty nine or something like that. Just rounded off to $8, okay? Um, and then I was able to get this one for free, okay? They're both about the same price. If I think they're the same price, and they are 100%. Let me say that again. 100% bore bristle brush okay the bristles are 100 percent bore um the reason that's important is because as i said before the bristles are porous these are the best brushes for your hair it really does do what they say it does it cleans the hair um it cleans the sebum uh and the dirt that's you know emulsified in the in the Okay, understand something. When your hair gets dirty and you're doing this method, the dirt, the dust, the skin cells, it gets emulsified inside on your sebum, okay? It gets mixed in there with your sebum. And when you are rinsing away excess sebum with your water rinses, you're also rinse, rinsing away the dirt. But the same thing is true for these brushes. When you are brushing and distributing the oils throughout your hair, you're also carrying away not only the excess sebum, but the dirt, okay? Because it's all one thing right now. Okay, so these brushes, they do what it says it does. I'm telling you, I'm, 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 I'm shocked, okay? I'm shocked. I'm just, I'm really stunned. And, and I'm, I'm going to test this out for the next month or so to truly test it to see if this is something that I want to keep in my water-only regimen, okay? As of right now, it's a yes. And I'm surprised that the answer is a yes. I'm keeping this in my regimen. And so... Basically, guys, I really wanted to come here and tell you about what I was doing so that if you needed something different, maybe you're tired of rinsing your hair every single day or every other day, or maybe you just want to wear your hair straight. And this goes towards um, uh, my viewers who have asked me, can I wear my hair straight? Can I blow it out? Can I um, press it out? You know, it's something like that. Can I do this method and still wear my hair straight? I think you absolutely can do that with these brushes. Like I said, they are meant to distribute your sebum. Your sebum settles on your scalp, okay? And we use the water to pull it down. 
because it's thick, it's waxy in consistency. So, with these brushes, you would not need to use the water for that particular purpose. I'm not going to stop using my water. My water is going to be a regular thing in my regimen. I am just growing and figuring out other ways to use it, to use this regimen or to be on this regimen to this my brush benefit. It's one of those things that is going to be a new staple in the way that I take care of my hair. Um, and at some point, who knows, Bristle I might buy really expensive because brush. the bristles come from a bore. And apparently, the bristles are porous. And so that is why it is able to grab on to the dust, to the sebum, to anything that is on your hair strands that should not be. Okay, so, um, with that being said, I need you guys to understand very clearly, these brushes are, they are not guys they are not meant to detangle your hair they are not meant to style your hair they are simply meant to clean your hair um, distribute the oils throughout your hair and close the cuticles on your strands that's what these brushes are meant to do each of these brushes all four well let me say four out of the five brushes are reportedly a hundred percent bore bristle brushes and that is why um, I purchased these. I did not want to get a mix of bore brush with nylon or some type of plastic. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to really give it a, uh, a decent um, review on what I found to work or not work. And I didn't want to, you know, get a mix. I cannot tell you guys for sure about this palm brush. Um, like I said, my husband has had this for years. I have no idea if it's 100% or not. I mean, it certainly looks like it. You know, but they yeah. work really, really well. Um, as I said, they are not meant to detangle. They are not meant to be used on wet hair. They are not meant for styling. You must make sure, and let me, um, let me just keep saying this to you guys. Please, if you decide to try these brushes out, make sure, first of all, you choose the right brush for you. Um, this brush here, soft brush with longer bristles, as you can see, okay? That means the longer the bristles are, the easy it will easier it will be to get from um, get through the other end of your hair. So basically, if all of this was loose and I was brushing going down this way, the teeth would be able to go through the other side. Okay, so you really have to shop for the you really have to shop for the bristle brush that's right for you. Okay, decide whether or not you're okay with short teeth or longer teeth. Whether or not you want want your bristles to be spaced apart okay or you want them to be more uh, dense as this one is here this is a really soft brush um, I'm just gonna run my finger down now you can barely hear that this is a soft brush this brush right here I've been using for like I said a little bit um, a little bit longer than a week okay and I've been just using it to smooth and I have a picture that I'm going to show you guys um, either before or later on in the video and you'll see the difference between what it looks like clean and what it looked like before I cleaned it and it's pretty it's kind of gross um, not because my hair was gross but because of how much of the, of the sebum and dust that it um, accumulated so, and since we've got that out the way um, also I've taken some pictures guys I took some pictures of this brush here as you can see the bristles are really black now I took pictures of it earlier today because I had used it and I kid you not this brush had so much sebum on it it had so much dust on it that I could just move the bristles and it started to fall now if you guys should decide to use these brushes or try them out my suggestion to you is to make sure you clean them after every use. It is very easy to clean these brushes. Um, if you don't have a lot that's on the brush, you can simply rinse it with warm water. But if you feel like you really need to clean it, it is best to hold your brush down like this. Add some soap or even shampoo to, your, to, to, the, to the bristles and simply rub it through like this under the water. Okay, you want to try not to get this, um, this, the wood portion of it wet because you don't want your wood and the stain that they put you on here to start gone out and you've searched the water only method you've probably come across a few forums where they discuss sebum only which is basically never letting water touch your head okay um those particular people who are on that method 
they these brushes the BB brush big thing for them okay because it really does clean the hair I didn't realize how how much sebum I had on my hair um, it, it was so shiny and it was so soft it never occurred to me that I may have been having too much on there and I kind of think I probably did I think I may have had a little bit too much sebum on my hair it and really I needed did to take off the excess the stuff that I did not need and it made my hair super super shiny